Hey Duders, welcome back to Pollywalk Lagoon. I'm so excited because today we're going to be doing the second part of the Lego Movie number two, the awesomest, most amazing, most epic movie guide in the universe. Rex here, and hopefully this time I'll have a part in this book. Because, you know, I am best friends with Emmett and all. Sheesh. I wonder if they'll see me turn into Angry Caddy. Oh, she gets so cranky sometimes. Ice Cream Cone, the assistant, and Chocolate Bar are here as well. And Max, oh, I love Max. Oh, uh, did you see that there are some LOL surprise dolls here too, Lightning McQueen? Yeah, Mater, I sure did, and uh, those things are everywhere. We just can't seem to get away from them. I know, right? Well, before we get started on this uh, God reading, you can go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We post new videos all the time. <laughs> we are kind of everywhere, aren't we? Yeah, there's no getting away from us. We're too cute. Uh, anyone else kind of find that creepy? No? Just me? Uh, okay. It's time for the fun to begin with the awesomest, most amazing, most epic movie guide in the universe, part two. Written by Helen Murray. This is where we left off. Oh yeah, that's right. With my tricycle and planty. So cool. <clears throat> Emmett, the tough guy? While everyone else in Apocalypseburg has toughened up, Emmett hasn't changed at all. But seeing his friends taken into space makes Emmett realize that if he wants to save them, now is the time to get tough. Not so special. When mysterious sweet mayhem arrives in Apocalypseburg to take away its leaders, she thinks Emmett is weak, simple, and less than special. But he will prove her wrong. To the rescue. With no one willing to help him find his friends, brave Emmett heads off into space with just Planty, his houseplant, for company. Planty. Planty is Emmett's friend. They travel everywhere together. Smashing escape. Emmett meets a space traveler named Rex who shows him how to toughen up. Emmett learns to get out of dangerous situations by channeling his sad feelings into a punch to the ground. Haha, <laughs> yes, finally! That's me! I'm Rex, the tough guy! Ha <laughs> And we can't forget about Planty's part in this. Hi, Planty. Emmett's Rescue Rocket. Loyal Emmett is determined to save his friends. He rebuilds his house into an awesome rocket ship and blasts off into space to rescue them. Comically cool. Emmett adds three giant rocket engines, wings, weapons, and a control panel. Now he just needs to figure out how to fly the rocket ship. Did you know Emmett's Rescue Rocket gets hit and destroyed by asteroids? Part of white picket fence from Emmett's house and a missile for extra safety. There's also a powerful rocket booster. Warning, a little spoiler alert there. So, yeah. Lucy! Lucy has always been tough, but she has had to become tougher than ever to survive life in Apocalypseburg. Forever a free spirit, Lucy is not a follower and questions everything. Things you need to know about Lucy. She is a master builder. She can build anything out of anything. Lucy is an expert at escaping capture. Her amazing backflips and jumping skills help. She is a great team leader. She can always be relied on for coming up with a clever plan. Lucy really dislikes the pop song, Everything is Awesome. Sounds like me and Lucy have something in common. I'm not a big fan of pop songs either. Bah. The getaway car. Lucy and Emmett have to think quickly when they are under an alien attack. They use the wheels from Emmett's destroyed tricycle and bricks from the Apocalypseburg rubble to build a super speedy escape buggy. Building together. Lucy makes sure the car has a powerful turbo engine, while Emmett adds a safe tail light and blinker. They add large wheels, sturdy suspension to ensure a smooth ride, even over very bumpy terrain. Rotating arrow gun. Snazzy racing stripes. Very important. Did you know Lucy builds a very angry Ultra Caddy into the car's motor to give it even more power? That's what I'm talking about! Meow! <sighs> if anyone can look awesome during an alien invasion, it's the crime-fighting superhero. Proud Batman usually likes to work solo, but when Apocalypseburg is under attack, he teams up with everyone to save the city. Things you need to know about Batman. The awesome superhero defends Apocalypseburg from his turreted fortress. His fortress has a light-up sign that flashes your welcome when he saves the day. 
Flattery will get you everywhere with Batman. He thinks the queen of the Sistar system is rad. <laughs> they just can't get enough of me in this book, can they? If I didn't know better, I would think I was the special. <laughs> Benny! Spaceship! Building spaceships is Benny's favorite thing to do. The cheerful, classic spaceman loves spaceships so much that he doesn't mind being taken by aliens because he gets to travel in an awesome spaceship. Things you need to know about Benny. The battle-worn master builder has had to build himself a new arm. Benny is clumsy. Keep away when he is wielding a blowtorch. He has a crack in his helmet. No wonder he is often lightheaded. His battle cry against the Duplo aliens is, you guessed it, Spaceship! Meh. Spaceship. Meh. Meh, 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 meh. Spaceship Workshop. Spaceship, spaceship, spaceship! Benny and Emmett build and fix up spaceships and other vehicles to use in the fight against the alien invaders. Benny's always ready to battle in space. Did you know Benny wears his blue spacesuit, helmet, and oxygen tank at all times? Space Squad. The queen of the Sistar system promises Benny his own special world. There he can create the spaceship of his dreams with his very own spaceship building team. This is Emmett's buggy. This is a space buggy, a tool cart, and a fuel pump. And here's this handy dandy little booster right here. You know who else has a built-in octane fuel pump? <laughs> In its tricycle. Unikitty! Super cute Unikitty usually likes to think only of positive things, but she finds herself getting angrier and angrier with the apocalypse under attack. She uses these negative feelings to fight to defend the city with her friends. Things you need to know about Unikitty. Unikitty is part unicorn, part kitten. She's a master builder who loves to build cute, rainbow-colored, sparkly things. Glitter, rainbows, butterflies, puppies, her friends, and spas make Unikitty happy. People who put raisins in otherwise delicious food make her unhappy. Oh, we just love Unikitty. She is so cute. Aw, thanks, guys. Would you guys ever put raisins in something that shouldn't have raisins? Um, no, of course not. That sounds disgusting. Ultra Caddy. When Unikitty gets very angry, she channels her rage to transform into Ultra Caddy, a big, bad fighting machine. Watch out, alien invaders. The fierce fighter just has to keep thinking angry thoughts, or she will turn back into sweet Unikitty. Angry Kitty. When the aliens invade, Unikitty finds herself losing control of her positive thoughts and becoming Warrior Kitty. She uses this to her advantage by transforming into fearsome Ultra Caddy. Warrior Duo. Lucy hops onto Ultra Caddy's back to ride into battle against the chomping Duplo aliens. Ultra Caddy shoots a flare from her horn to signal their friends for help. Sweet self. Once the battle is over, Unikitty returns to her cute pink self until she gets angry again. Oh, Max, are you worried that Unikitty's gonna turn into Ultra Caddy? <laughs> You're not a big fan of Ultra Caddy? <laughs> oh, it's okay, Max. She wouldn't hurt you. <laughs> this is a great place to stop for today. We have three more parts coming after this one. And there's one that I posted before that shows the first part of the book. I can link that in the video down below. The end just for now. We'll see y'all again real soon, like. Yeah, take care out there. Bye-bye.